Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out the new cherry-themed collection from Urban Decay. And I'm kind of in the mood for fall makeup. I know you guys have seen a lot of kind of deeper, a little bit more bold looks on my channel. I am back in the full glam, the big brows, a lot of red burgundy purple going on with my eye looks recently. And then I see this and I'm like, oh yes, okay, fall, fall is here. Even though here in California, it is so sweaty hot at the moment. I got this in PR and I was super excited to take a peek and sit down and test it out and try it on on camera with you guys. I actually, um, I'm gonna go and get the PR thing that it came in. It's kind of ridiculous, hold on. Really? I mean like, this is pretty and everything. Like I, I get the theming and I'm like excited about it and it looks really cool and everything. But like, what am I gonna do with this? I mean, maybe I could use this to like serve children Halloween candy. I'll be like trick or treat. And then for the parents, I'll be like, move it to the left. There's some lip gloss under there. Um, so that'll be Halloween at my house maybe. I don't know. The PR packages keep getting more and more and more and more ridiculous. I don't know why that just like triggered me into talking about that, but I can see over here on my table, milk makeup sent over eyeliners in like a giant box. And then behind me, Revlon sent over the biggest package I've ever seen in my life for like, six items, eight items. It was small, like the item whatnot was small, but the whole package was like this big. I don't get it. Anyway, okay, so whew, rant over. I am all about recycling and not wasting cardboard and packaging. Like to me, it just has never mattered what the PR packaging looks like. It just matters if the product's great. Now beyond the whole like PR package thing, I do have to say I appreciate a good, beautiful, themed out collection. Like I love that this is cherries and you see the actual cherries on the unicarton right here. I think it's a gorgeous color. So let's take a peek at the palette and the blush palette first. So this is the highlight blush palette. I feel like I've seen this before. Not trying to like throw shade at Urban Decay, but like, does this not kind of just look like a lot of their other trios. I don't know, we're gonna try this one out. They have three lipsticks, we're gonna try all three on. They have a cherry scented, long lasting makeup setting spray. You guys know I am a total slave to the Urban Decay All Nighter. That is like my absolute number one fave. I have the pollution version right here. I don't know that I like vibe with the whole scented setting sprays because I just feel like that might irritate my skin. You know, like, do I really need a scented setting spray? Maybe I do. Maybe I'll be life transformed and I will be like, this smells so good. Let's find out. Ooh, we are starting this video out not on the greatest note. Um, that, <laughs> that smells like NyQuil, okay? It smells like cherry NyQuil, so cheers. This is the um, cough syrup collection, apparently. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. We're gonna get straight into what you guys are most excited about. I'm gonna scooch the camera closer and we're gonna play with pa 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 the cherry palette from Urban Decay. All right, so I can't find the eye base that I want to use. So we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of D1W from Dermacolor, and I am just going to press this on my lid with a beauty blender. And then I'm actually gonna go in with the beauty blender into my cherry palette, and I'm gonna go into Hot Spot, and I'm gonna grab it on the beauty blender, and I'm... <coughs> Mm. Beautiful. And I am going to just press this all over the lid. Wow. What have we here? A lot of pigment. I like it. That's actually super nice. You guys, who's sad about the original Naked palette going away forever and ever and ever? Why would they do that to us? That palette is one of my faves. And I actually told uh, my sister Erica, we were getting ready in her room in Vegas and she had like this just old, falling apart, tattered makeup, makeup palette, naked palette. Oh my God, why am I mashing those two words together? She had the most busted up, dusty, crusty, old, 
naked palette and it looked like it was from like the stone ages. Maybe it wasn't that bad, but it was just like very well loved. And I was like, hey, you might want to grab another one of those because they're discontinuing it. And her face, she was just like, why? She's like, why? This is the only palette that I use. And I feel like so many people that just aren't into makeup the way maybe some of us crazy YouTubers are, like that is the go-to standard. Like that is the palette, you know? So we have a really beautiful base going. I am gonna go into devilish just with the brush that it comes with and i'm gonna grab it on the tip starting in the center i'm gonna go into the crease i have no idea how these even swatch i have not played at all we're going in blind It's pretty. Why do I feel like every single look I've done recently has been like a pink, a red, or a plum in the crease like this? It's like every palette that has come out right now is like this kind of a vibe. I don't know that I agree that this is like the cherry palette. It should be like the grape palette. It's not as sexy. <laughs> I only think it was the Fruit of the Loom guy. <laughs> it's the Urban Decay grape palette. <sighs> Who likes cherries? Do you guys eat cherries? Because honestly, I really like them. I feel like they're kind of a lot of work and it's kind of disgusting. Like I'm that weirdo that will sit on my couch and like eat and like have a bowl to like spit the seeds out. And I can just like go to town, man. I hate maraschino cherries though. Cause I think they just taste like, it'll take a lot for your body to process, you know? I'm actually gonna take a much fluffier brush and I'm gonna go into juicy. And I'm just going to kind of blend this out and buff this color into a state of softness. All right, you guys, so I'm filming this after having gone and seen JLo in Vegas. Be still my heart. That woman is not even human. She is so freaking talented. I don't even know how. Like how, how? I feel like I do like one like dance move and I'm like, I need a break. You know, she was just like up there for like two hours, just killing it. She's amazing. I aspire to be like JLo with my glow and with my drive for business. Like she's just, man, I just love her. Okay, this is blending nicely. I really like it. I'm actually gonna take this brush and go back into Devilish, grab it on the tip, just kind of skim right back through, just to make sure everything has a nice blend. So props to James because I had been bugging him for like two years. I really wanted to go and see JLo in Vegas. And he is like the best husband ever because not only did he get tickets for me and him to go, and they were like front row tickets. He managed to get all of my sisters, which this never happens. He managed to get them all to come out to Vegas and for all of us to be together, Oh my gosh, I don't wanna cry my makeup off, but it was just the most magical, incredible, memorable trip ever. And for those of you that don't know, I have three sisters and they are just my best friends. They are everything to me and it was so good. And it made me so sad to leave because I just miss all of us being together. We just understand each other in a way that most people, to be honest, don't understand us. I don't know, we have a really strong bond and just to be there in Vegas together and to be doing fun, cool things, it was just incredible. This is looking so nice. Like I actually super, super love this. Like you know how sometimes shadows just won't blend for you and they just start pissing you off? That's not happening with this. This is actually going on so nice and smooth. Wow, and actually plum tones and Anything with a purple tinge to it usually does not blend this well. So Urban Decay, you're doing something really right with this. She is impressed. I'm gonna go into privacy, just a tiny little bit and just pat this on. Ooh, okay, I like that. I'm really, really loving this. Okay, so what I wanna do now is go into Drunk Dial, and I'm gonna do this with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I'm not using the cherry spray. I like a little glycerin. Like, I found that I just prefer that when using shadows wet. 
Ooh, that is really pretty. Now I'm gonna go into ambitious and I'm just gonna put this a little bit on the inner portion of the lid. That one went on for some reason a little bit chunky. I'm just gonna slightly go back over just to make sure the crease is still defined. I'm gonna take the excess on this brush right here and just go on the lower lash line and smoke this out. Okay, so we have a little bit of a fallout issue right through here, that's okay. I am going to kind of pat some of it off um, first with a dry brush. So step one, try to kick off what you can with a brush. If things get really out of hand, step two, take a makeup removing wipe and just kind of dot the area. Step three, take your beauty blender and a little bit of foundation, whatever you were using. And slightly stamp over it. All right, so not awesome, awesome, but not terrible because I have not yet done any of my blush or highlight because we're gonna dig into that next. I am gonna use the liner Love Drug in my waterline. And we're gonna take the liner Black Market on the upper lash line. So now I am going to curl and pop on some lashes. I think I'm gonna use my Everlasting Lashes in Amber and I will be right back. I absolutely love this eye makeup. Now you guys, everything blended perfectly and beautifully and I am so impressed with the quality of this palette. I don't think this would be like a good everyday palette. The Naked Original that they're rudely getting rid of uh, would be a good everyday. The Naked 2 is great for everyday. This does lean on the cherry side, on the plum side. Ooh, it could have been called the plum palette. Like it just looks really blended and perfect and I love it. So let's hope for the same with this guy right here because we're going to move on to the face really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the blush that's right there in the center and we're just going to rosy up the cheeks just a tiny little bit. I like it, I like the tone of that. It goes with more of these kind of plum type of looks. I don't have a lot of shades that are like this in my blush collection, so that's super cool. I'm gonna go in with a fan brush into the more champagne highlight, and we're gonna go ahead and just hit that. Oh, ooh, yes. Finally, they have not done the greatest job with highlighters recently, in my opinion. I've been a little bit harsh on them, to be honest, and that is beautiful. That's so nice. Oh my goodness, that is so absolutely stunning. I super love this. I am now gonna go in with a little more. Okay, I'm gonna go into the champagne highlight and I'm gonna hit the inner corner. Ooh, I love it. All right, just to show you guys what the other highlight looks like, let's just do it up. I'm going into the other side. This is way more iridescent and icy. Okay, so let's go in to the lipsticks and just try them on real quick. All right, so we have three lipsticks in this collection, the shade Juicy, the shade Devilish, and Cherry. Let's go in first with the lightest. Oh my gosh, cute packaging, hello. That is so cute, I cannot even. Oh, that is like very sheer. Okay, we'll just give it a good try real quick. 
there's something about that, like with this whole look that I like, I normally do not vibe with kind of like a see-through metallic-y glitter situation, but that's actually super, super pretty, right? I like it. Okay, then we have the shade Devilish, which is also in the palette. I am going to, hmm, Juicy's in the palette too, so is Cherry. Okay, so I'm gonna take Devilish. This one is not for me. Yeah, I don't like this kind of a pink. I think it's really hard to pull off, to be honest. Pretty to look at, not exactly my favorite to wear. Also, this kind of a lip product is so tough to get off. Like, I know I'm gonna have micro glitter just like sunken in to my lips for days. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Cherry as our grand finale. I feel like I probably should use the lip liner. I'm gonna grab a lip liner. Ah! I have the perfect I have the perfect lip liner. This is from Urban Decay and this is in Blackmail. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, so we're now gonna go in with the lipstick. And I had a little bit of a hard time putting that on. It feels dangerous to me. It feels like I'm gonna have lipstick all over my face, on my hands from accidentally bumping myself, on my teeth. But I wanna try really quick one more thing. I'm gonna put this guy in the center just to kind of, let's just like see, right? That's pretty. I've, I've lost my mind at this point. Okay, so we are ending this uh, adventure with the Urban Decay Cherry Collection. Let me put on my Cherry NyQuil setting spray. Mm. The flu. I can't stand the way that smells. I'm so sorry. That is the one thing in this collection that I would not recommend. I would say just like stick with the original and that's fine. The lipstick cases are beautiful and cute. The darker one feels a little dangerous to me. The magenta one is just kind of an off color, but the sparkly more nude shade called Juicy, I really enjoy. Super love this palette. I actually really like the liners and normally I'm not the biggest fan of Urban Decay liners, but they both went on really nicely. And I'm also a fan of the face palette. This shade right here is like so nice to go with more fall tones. There you have it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button to let me know that you liked it. And that would be awesome. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. I am here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which I have to tell you, oh my gosh, I witnessed this go down. My sister got a notification for one of my videos like 24 hours after it went up. And she's like, I've rung your bell. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is this like a thing? It's happening. Um, either way, ring the bell, come hang out with me again, and that would be awesome. All right, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.